Hey, welcome back to Mr. Menta's ELL Classroom. Today we're going to be starting our section on Chapter 5 of the Blue Book. Uh, that is a lot of things in this chapter, actually. Kind of a hodgepodge. To be, yes and no questions and short answers, adjectives, and possessive nouns. So, as we talked about a lot in class before the schools closed, um, many of my classes, we were able to talk about this, nouns are people, places, and things. So nouns are words like Mr. Menta, or the book, the things in our sentences. Adjectives are words that describe those things, okay? And we have a ton of adjectives in our vocabulary words. So to just give you some examples, okay, down here, these are our vocab words to get us started in this chapter, and there's a lot of them. We have tall and short. Those are both adjectives. See? The woman and the boy, those are nouns. Tall describes the woman. It tells us about the woman, so it's an adjective. Every one of these words tells us about the person or maybe the animal or thing in the picture. And all of those things are adjectives. Okay? So, let's go over them. Uh, tall, short. Number two, young, old. Number three, heavy or fat and thin. I I'll warn you right now, too, this chapter is kind of shallow. It, like, they're, they're, I don't know, a little bit rude the way, in the way they describe their people uh, sometimes, I think. So they're saying, um, yeah. It, it, it's a little strange, it's a little strange, but these are words in the English language that are worth learning. But so you have, we have this guy who's the, the fat, or the heavy guy, and this guy is thin. There's a couple more examples like that. Um, number four, we have new and old. Number five, married or single. So single, uh, in this context, single means not married. We can use the word single and have it also mean other things. But in this chapter, single means not married. Number six, handsome, ugly. Again, isn't that a little, I don't know, rude? But that's the book is, it's, it's not a polite book. It's an impolite book, I guess. Um, number seven, beautiful slash pretty or ugly. Uh, number eight, large or big and small or little. And if you were unclear on this, the word large, it means the same thing as the word big. There's not really a difference. The same as small and little. Number nine, noisy or loud and quiet. Number ten, expensive versus cheap. Okay, these are two words that maybe we haven't used before. So expensive means it costs a lot of money. Okay? Expensive means it takes a lot of money. Cheap means very, very little money. Okay? Okay, 11. Easy, difficult. Okay? So see, he's taking a test there, and he's smiling because it's easy, and he's not smiling because it's difficult. 12. Rich and poor. Okay? He's got a lot of money. He doesn't. Okay? So those are all adjectives that we'll be using in this chapter. All right, let's go right on to the next one. So over here we have uh, a box to practice uh, using some of our vocabulary. And then we have a was what was a speaking exercise, but which for you will be a writing exercise because we're doing this at home. And I think writing's good for you. I think a lot of writing is kind of the backbone of this class nowadays. So, let's look up at our title. It says tall or short. So over here, when it has these in the parentheses, that means we don't need to say that, but I am means I'm. He is is he's. You know this. We've used this before. This is a review. So I'm tall. He's tall. She's tall. It's tall. We're 
tall, your tall, their tall. So these are the same things we've been practicing already. Uh, you know, we say he is and we are. We change that. But we can use the same adjectives. Those don't have to change. We just have to remember what we've already learned. But when we say is, when we say am, when we say are, all that stuff. So we have this example conversation. Is Bob tall or short? He's tall. Is Bill tall or short? He is short. Okay? So, we're going to take this down, ask and answer these questions. So, number one, is Kate young or old? This is Kate. See? Is she young or old? Especially if we're comparing her to the other person in the box, okay? I know she's not like a baby, but she's not old like this person is. So, we're going to say... She's young. So what I want you to do is on your sheet of notebook paper, write down, she's young. Okay? And then, uh, is Peggy young or old? She's old. So write that on your sheet of notebook paper. And, oh, um, can't remember if I said this at the beginning uh, or not. I usually do. But all of these pages that you need for this lesson... You can get on the description in the YouTube videos. Okay, so as always, you want to go on the YouTube video and open up the pages um, to complete the lesson. Now, for these le uh, pages, you do not need to print them. You just need to read them. Okay, so there should be three pages. You know, this one, this one, and this one, and uh, you should have them to follow along at home as we're doing this exercise. All right. So, on your sheet of notebook paper, you should write, she's young for Kate, and she's old for Peggy. Okay? Then we're going to go on. Is Howard heavy or thin? Which one? This is Howard. See? Howard. Okay? And so you're going to write, he's what? Okay? So, you're going to do that for all of these. So, you have all this page and then this page, okay? Uh, we're not going to worry about this. Don't worry about making your own questions. I think this is quite enough. But So, we're going to practice all of our words to make sure we are familiar with them. Pay attention to spelling. It's okay to look it up in your book, but pay attention to spelling. We want to learn these words so that forever now after this, if ever you need to say or write a word like this, you're going to remember it, okay? So, pause the video now and write those sentences, then I will go over them with you after you're done writing, okay? So, pause the video, write the sentences. Okay, did you pause the video? All right, so, let's keep going. So, is Howard heavy or thin? He's heavy. Is Mike fat or thin? He's thin. Is Howard's car new or old? It's new. And make sure you uh, write it's, I-T apostrophe S. It's new. Is Mike's car new or old? It's old. Okay. Is Gloria married or single? She's married. Is Jennifer married or single? She's single. Good. And again, make sure you're spelling that correctly. Up here, she's I want to see these apostrophes. Okay? She's, S-H-E apostrophe S, I-T apostrophe S. Make sure you have these apostrophes, okay? Make sure you're getting the spelling, okay? All right, next page. Lots of good writing practice here. This is good, going to improve our handwriting. Is Robert handsome or ugly? He's handsome. 
Is Captain Crook handsome or ugly? He's ugly. I don't know. No accounting for taste. I think maybe he's rugged, right? Such a mean book. Is Vanessa beautiful or ugly? She's beautiful. Is Hilda pretty or ugly? She's ugly. Again, I think some people like witches. You know, the whole Harry Potter thing? I think that's very anti-witch of the book. But let's not worry about it too much. The point is we're just practicing words. Um, is Robert's house large or small? It's large. Is George's apartment big or little? It's little. Okay. Are Kate's neighbors noisy or quiet? Kate's neighbors. They're noisy. Again, make sure you're using the correct spelling of there. Okay? It should look like that. Okay? There. Okay? Not any of the other versions of it. They're noisy. They are noisy. Are Peggy's neighbors loud or quiet? They're quiet. Okay. Is the food at the Plaza restaurant expensive or cheap? It's expensive. Good guess. It's expensive. I think look at that. Is the food at Burger Town expensive or cheap? It's cheap. Burgers are usually cheap, especially when they come in a box like that. That's usually cheap. All right, uh, 18. Oh, uh, we did that, 18. 19. Are the questions in Chapter 5 easy or difficult? They're easy. Are the questions in Chapter 17 easy or difficult? They're difficult. Interesting note, there are 17 chapters in this book. Is Marvin rich or poor? He's rich. Is Larry rich or poor? He's poor. Okay, that's a good job. That's the end of our first speaking slash writing assignment for uh, chapter five. I think that's quite enough for today. So take a break. You've earned it. I will see you tomorrow.